I'm going to be showing you how to dump onboard SHSH blobs on iDevices with the A5 chip. This includes the iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad mini, iPhone 4S, and iPod Touch 5th generation. Before we start, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need an Arduino. In my case, I'm going to be using an Arduino Uno Rev 3. And you will also need a USB host shield. But first, let's start with what you'll need on the software side. So go into your web browser and you're going to need to download the Arduino software which you can get by going to arduino.cc but again all the links will be down in the description so once you're on the website you just go to software then you go to where it says download option and you hit Mac OS X and then you hit just download you don't need to donate that'll download next we're gonna to have to go to this github page which is the actual exploit Again, link will be in the description. Once you arrive, you want to hit code and download zip. Alright, now we can minimize that. As you can see, Arduino is downloaded. But first, you want to open Finder and go to your applications and drag Arduino to the applications folder. And you should drag your exploit folder to your desktop. There you are. And what I would do is I would get rid of the master and just name it checkmate-a5, just like that. All right, now we can open Arduino. Let it verify. And if it prompts you, hit open. And there we go. All right, now that it opened, you want to go up to Tools. You want to go to Manage Libraries. It should open up another window. All right, now that we're here, let it update. There we go. Now you just want to type USB and hit Enter. All right, and the library we're going to be looking for is called USB Host. As you can see, it's right here. You just want to click install and it'll install. All right, now we can click close and close out of this. We can open Finder and you want to go to Documents, Arduino, and then you want to open a terminal window right here and then go to the back to the exploit website and there's a couple commands we're going to have to run so if we just move this more out of the way so first we want to copy this command cd and then you just want to take your libraries folder drag it here and then you just want to hit enter as you can see now we're in that directory then you want to copy the next command here copy that paste it, run it, should take a minute or so, alright now that's done, then you just want to copy this, paste that in there, done, now the, the second last command you want to copy that again, paste it, all right, now with that, you want to copy the git apply, copy that, paste that in there. Then you want to minimize this and you want to open your exploit folder right here. And you want to drag, first you want to put a space, then you want to drag the USB host library patch right here. Then you just want to hit enter and it installed successfully. Now to verify, we can go into libraries, and there we go, it is right here. So let's move on. Arduino program again, we will want to go to file, open. We want to go to our exploit folder, which we downloaded earlier, and locate the checkmate-a5.ino file. Click on that, click open, and it will load the exploit into the Arduino program. Next, you want to connect your device to the computer. Connect it to the computer, as you can see right here. We are now going to put it into DFU mode by holding the power and home. OK, 
continue holding the home until it remounts on the computer. As you can see, there it is. And we get the warning, just click OK. Get our Arduino board ready. So you're gonna wanna take your USB host shield and place it on top of your Arduino Uno, just like here, if you haven't already done so. And make sure these are properly connected. And if your board, your USB shield did not come pre-soldered, there are going to be three points you will need to bridge. And I will put an image up on screen now of the ones you need to bridge. So once that's done, you're going to want to connect the Uno to the computer. The light should go green. Now with the program already open, you want to go to Tools. You want to make sure your port is on your uno board right here as you can see and it auto detects as an uno so once you verify that everything is good there you just want to hit upload it's going to compile and upload and if you look here the lights should be flashing in there all right now it's done uploading we can move on to the next step now we want to take our iDevices USB cable, plug it into the shield, and I've added an LED, which is totally optional. It is not necessary, but it is recommended to check the status of the board. With that connected, you then want to plug the Uno back into power, and it's going to run the exploit. As you can see, it's gonna flash three times. Then the light should go solid. All right, the light went solid. That means it's entered Pwn DFU successfully. DFU mode, you wanna disconnect the device from the Uno and plug the device straight into your computer. Now you wanna to go to this website and you wanna to go to code and download it as a zip. So once that's downloaded, I already have it on my desktop. So you'll get these. You want to open up a terminal window and you want to CD into the folder. Then you want to run dot slash restore.sh honed device, hit enter. It is going to find the device. As you can see, iPod 5 comma one. You want to hit one downgrade device two other, two again, hit enter again. As you can see, it says done. When you get this pop-up, hit cancel, and that's it. Now the IBSS has been sent, and we can move on to the next part. To grab the blobs. So, you wanna go back into your browser, and you wanna to go to this website, Odysseus. You're gonna to wanna to scroll all the way down, and download it. Okay, I already have it on my desktop. It should be something like this. You can ignore all this stuff from earlier. So with that, we want to open a fresh terminal window. We want to CD into the folder in the Mac OS directory within the folder. Hit enter. You want to go back up to this website and we're going to want to build the custom IPSW so what you're going to need for that is you're going to go here you are going to get the IPSW and you may be asking why am I using 8.4.1 when the device I have is running iOS 7 well it's because there's a firmware bundle for this version but there isn't for the version I'm running. As you can see, there's none for 7.0.4. So what you want to do is you want to go to this website here, firmware, firmware bundles, which is a media fire link. I will again have it in the description. There's a bunch of bundles in here. You want to see if any of with your device model match the version. The ver again, the version doesn't matter. So I'm going to scroll down to iPod 5.1 right here and there's the 
firmware bundle. So I'm going to download it. Downloaded. So if you get a pop-up like this, just ignore it. Go back into the Mac OS folder. Take this and drag it into the firmware bundles. Now that that's done, we can go back to the Odysseus page and we can copy this command here. Again, ignore the baseman because we are doing an iPod and you don't need to save your baseman even if you're on an iPhone. So we can go here, make this a bit bigger. And what you want to change here is where it says downloaded IPSW. You want to put the IPSW file that you downloaded. As you can see, in my case, I'm doing the 8.4.1 IPSW, which again corresponds to the bundle I just downloaded. Hit enter, and it's going to create the custom IPSW. So I will come back when this finishes. PSW has been created. We go into the macOS folder. As you can see, custom IPSW. Now we want to go back to the website. We want to scroll up and we want to extract the IBEC. Just copy that. Paste that there. And again, if we go back into here, the pwned IBEC file is now there. Now we want to go to here, dot slash i recovery, copy that, paste that. As you can see, successfully uploaded file. Go back here, and here's where we grab the blobs. We want to go here, copy this, paste that. If you get this error claiming interface, just unplug your device, plug it back in run it again as you can see I got this one more time run it one more time as you can see now we are in iRecovery we want to copy this copy that paste so again successfully uploaded file now we want to copy this paste that as you can see blobs copied go back here copy this now closed the connection with iRecovery, copy this. This is what's going to get our myblob.dump. Go back into iRecovery. We're back in now we can just type reboot. The device should reboot. Now we want to copy this. So we paste that, but before we hit enter, we want to take our IPSW that corresponds to the version that is installed on our device, in my case 7.0.4, paste that right there. And where it says matching IPSW, you want this is when you're going to want to put in the corresponding version, IPSW, so iPod, I'm going to have to type 7, delete that space, hit enter. We're going to get our ECID. We're going to copy that. We can minimize this. Go back into the Mac OS folder, and here is our blob. Get some info. It's seven kilobytes. So we want to rename this ECID dash device model. So in my case, iPod 5, comma one dash your version 7.0.4 in my case dot shsh hit enter and hit use dash s dot shsh now that that's done that is your blob so you want to keep this safe back it up to as many places as possible and yeah that's it stick around if you want me to show you how to restore if not that's the end of the tutorial for the dumping on the final stage, restoring. Again, this is completely optional. You do not have to do this, but if you want to, I will show you. So, what we need to do is we need to enter pwndfu 
using the Arduino exactly like we did earlier in the video. So, once you're in PwnDFU with the Arduino, you want to CD into the iOS OTA downgrader folder, hit enter, do dot slash restore dot sh pwned device, hit enter, your device should mount, you want to hit one, two, two again, hit enter, it's going to send the IBSS, now you want to select your IPSW, and you want to select the one corresponding to your version and blob, so in my case 7.0.4, it's going to ask for your blob, you just click on your blob and hit choose, I'm not going to restore because I don't want to in my case, but once you hit choose, it'll begin the restoring, and it will restore your device. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.